Hello AP students, this is Mrs. Politsky and I have notes for chapter 12, Psychological Disorders, and we're going to talk about personality disorders. And we're going to talk about them in th basically three different categories. Odd or eccentric, erratic or emotional, and anxious or fearful. So here we go. Personality disorders, these are conditions that involve a chronic person. Um, pervasive, inflexible, maladaptive pattern of thinking, emotion, social relationships, or impulse control. And the first category is the odd and eccentric. Uh, the first type would be paranoid personality disorder. Uh, this is an individual who suffers from unwarranted suspicion and mistrust of people, extreme and pervasive uh, suspiciousness, mistrust, and envies of others, hypersensitivity, and difficulty getting along with others, and restricted expression of emotion, inclined to avoid intimacy. The second type of odd or eccentric is schizoid personality disorder. Okay, uh, this is kind of similar to schizophrenia. Um, these are individuals who lack interest in people or social relationships. Uh, they're very cold and aloof socially isolated, they're unable to form close relationships, uh, they're humorless and appear to be indifferent to praise or criticism. Schizoid type personality. Uh, these are individuals who suffer symptoms of schizophrenia, but they're not severe enough to be considered psychotic. Uh, there are oddities and eccentricities in thought, perception and speech or behavior, but not severe enough to be diagnosed as schizophrenic. Uh, these people may uh, suffer uh, extreme social isolation. There's a strong tendency towards egocentrism. Our second category is the erratic and emotional category. Uh, first type is the borderline personality disorder. Uh, this is where an individual uh, has instability or impulsivity. Uh, they're unable to understand personal or personality given to impulsive behavior. Uh, they're characterized by unpredictable moods, stormy impersonal relationships, becoming upset or abusive in response to perceived slights. Uh, they have little tolerance for frustration. Uh, the impulsivity may be seen as a tendency for substance abuse, gambling, sexual promiscuity, binge eating, reckless driving, self-mutilation, or suicidal attempts. In this category, there's also the histrionic personality disorder. These are individuals who have a need for attention, engage in shallow social relationships, they're overly dramatic in their behavior, frequently expressed as drawing attention to oneself or overreacting to a minor event or a small consequence. They're self-centered, self-indulgent, vain, um, manipulative and inconsiderate. There is a tendency to be dependent on others, uh, but they have poor interpersonal skills. In this category, there is also the narcissistic personality disorder. There's a preoccupation with self for these individuals. They have an exaggerated sense of self-importance. This is characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance. Uh, grandiose is kind of like an extreme um, love for oneself, okay? Uh, there's a preoccupation with fantasies of success or power, a need for constant attention or admiration. These people, uh, for the most part, respond inappropriately to criticism or a minor defeat, either by acting indifferent or overreacting. Uh, they have problems with interpersonal relationships and they feel entitled to favors without obligation. They exploit others selfishly and have difficulty understanding how others feel. Also in this category is the antisocial personality disorder. Uh, antisocial behavior without anxiety, shame, or guilt. It's characterized by a long-standing pattern of irresponsible behavior, uh, indicating a lack of consciousness and a diminished sense of responsibility to others. Chronic lying, stealing, and fighting are symptoms. Uh, they can keep cool in situations that would arouse and upset normal people. As children, they probably disrupted class, ran away from home, got into fights. Uh, individuals who show a criminal pattern of antisocial behavior or antisocial personality disorder tend to commit murder or other serious crimes. 
and properly referred to as psychopaths or sociopaths. These are people who uh, could be criminals, con artists, successful politicians, business people, uh, who put career, money, and power above anything else or everything else. About 2% to roughly 3% of the population in the U.S. may have this disorder. Men are four times more likely to have it than women. The final category is anxious and fearful. Okay, the avoidant personality disorder. These are individuals that have a hypersensitivity to social rejection. They're hypersensitive to the possibility of re being rejected by others. They have a desire for close social relationships, but they're unable to reach out to others because of the fear of rejection or low self-esteem. We also have the dependent personality disorder. They have an excessive reliance on others. They're reluctant to make independent decisions. They have extremely poor self-images. Uh, they lack self-confidence. They depend upon others to make all major decisions. They are subordinate, okay? Subordinate personality needs to avoid alienating people um, dependent upon, unable to tolerate being alone. The next is the obsessive compulsive personality disorder. You know, we talked a little bit about OCD as an anxiety disorder, but these are individuals that have a rigid need for perfection, order, and control, and have a preoccupation with details. Excessive preoccupation with rules and regulation, and the need to do things by the book. They're inflexible, they're stiff, they're workaholics. Uh, they have a limited ability to express tender emotions such as warmth, caring, and love. And finally, our last one is the passive aggressive personality disorder. Uh, this is an individual who expresses indirect or passive resistance to the demands of others. These are um, individuals who, um, they're not gonna fight back, uh, but they have a tendency to, in, in a work environment, um, to dawdle or procrastinate or to be incredibly inefficient or forgetful. Uh, they have a tendency to be complainers or whiners. Um, they are the ones who, you know, when you're trying to get things going, are the ones dragging their feet, and they're doing this constantly. All right, thank you very much.